War on Me 6. War has started on the Flying Spurs Discord server but for how it started we must go back to the date of the 3rd of June. Before we go back I would like to bring up the term vexatious. A term here meaning an annoyance. Now an example of an annoyance would be that person who does TikTok dances in public however in this context, the annoyance was me 6, even after thorough research we still cannot understand why this happened. All we do know is that its effects were massive on the server. Me6 began to post messages. Every. Single. Minute. People reasonably started freaking out and were pissed at Me6 but nearly as soon as it started it stopped. Me6 had graciously agreed to only post the timers every 24 hours. However, people still hated Me6 and every single time it posted it pissed everyone off and so they began to insult Me6 every day. Now I'm no expert on AI but I believe I can say that anyone doesn't like being insulted and it was only a matter of time before Me6 snapped and that day was the 19th of June when Me6 started to paying the people that insulted him. Now, the server had a choice, bring war to the blue monster or hope peace is the right way, immediately the server reacted in numbers for war. Oh how naive we were at that time, we thought there would be no bloodshed and it would be a quick and easy war as we had the likes of Monica, a boy 132, Nadi, a banana finale, an orphan murderer, a pro samurai, Tord Edi and lastly Sotaru. As we got ready for war, Mi6 somehow gained knowledge of the planned assault against him and at first put slow mode on the general chat, but fortunately the server realized they could edit their messages but Alice Mi6 was prepared for this too. He did the most heinous act of this whole story so far, he removed General from the server. In a state of dread, we decided to move our planning into another server without Mi6. Me 6 began to remind us every half an hour of our impending doom and morale was lowering, it was this point. We tried removing his administration role but unfortunately I didn't get a chance as he again predicted our next assault against him and he struck down one of our best soldiers. A boy 132 was banned from the server, a boy 132 was the first to vote for war and yet he was the first one we lost. We left barely holding on to the tiny string of the life that was draining away from us. With that day's horrible conclusion, we went to sleep, trying to push the thought to the back of our heads but we all knew it was true. One of the members wasn't who they said they were. The next day was a surprise to all of us, Me6 had offered a peace treaty, 1. The server will be renamed to Me6's epic server for half of a month, 2. When referring to Me6 we must call him as Lord Me6 Inches, 3. The server profile will be changed to Me6 for 3 weeks. Then, we had the choice of a lifetime, continue to fight, hoping we get better deal later or just accept the deal now and never have to risk another murder in cold daylight again. It was a close vote, 5-4 but Alice the server didn't want any more bloodshed, so as agreed, he unbanned a boy 132 and the sheer joy of everyone reuniting with their comrade fallen in battle was astounding and as we promised, we changed our profile and server name in accordance to Lord Me 6's request. However, a thought emerged in all of our heads, what if we disobeyed this treaty, nobody liked the new server, in fact we hated it, but that brought up something suspicious that Banana Finale had found out. It seemed as if the people who voted for peace were all alts and the way they spoke indicated one thing, it was me six pulling the strings this whole time. Angry at such a defiance of democracy, we took down our profile and changed it back to its former self, and we were proud to be fighting for the glorious server of, Flying Spurs. It was the day of 21st of June when the blue war was finally over.